everyone welcome back to my channel this video was requested by someone that said something in the comments mentioning that I should make a video of different hairstyles now I usually wear my hair out like this this is just how I like it but once in a while I will wear my hair in a different style I have seven different hairstyles I'm gonna show you guys these hairstyles are gonna work for anyone that is at the awkward stage usually if you have a shorter like twa which is a teeny weeny afro it might not work that well the very first hairstyle i have to show you guys is a side part now i really don't wear my hair in a side part ever i used to when my hair was straightened but i don't anymore i like to have it out like this because i like the big circular shape i'm just gonna start with my part i have a kind of a rat tail comb it's like a medium comb my rat tail comb was stolen. <laughs> now, I am working on dry hair. This is day four hair of my wash and go. And as you can see, I can barely part through my hair with the comb. But I will be trying to make the part as straight as possible. And if you have really coily hair, or if your hair is tangled, work very slow. You don't wanna rip your hair in this process. So that part is straight enough for me. So what I'm gonna do, bitch! <laughs> I am gonna be working with my aloe vera and water mixture. I'm just gonna spray the side because I do wanna brush it back so the side part is more defined. I'm gonna take my bristle brush and just brush it back like this to the side. I got this little pack of bobby pins from Target. I love it because I don't lose any. <laughs> I'm gonna take two of them because I wanna do like a little crisscross kind of thing. You see, I kind of did it in like an X. Now, if you want to use gel to really lay it down, be my guest. Um, I've been on this no gel thing for a while now, so I really don't want to use gel. I sort of have bangs, kind of. So if you have bangs, you can bring them to the front. If you want to pick your hair even more, if you want to lay your edges, I'm not doing that right now because I'm going to be showing you guys seven different hairstyles and I don't want to have to keep rinsing out the gel. So this is what it looks like from the side. It's really simple and easy. I'll give you guys like a little 360. But this is something that's really easy and simple. And if you don't have bangs, that's really not an issue. If your hair is all one length and your bangs are really long, you can always just go like this. Woo, child! Put like a bobby pin here, and then your bangs will be shorter. So it actually fall in your face and it won't be super long. So the next hairstyle I'm going to show you guys, I don't actually have a name for it. I literally just wrote down in my notebook sides up and the rest of the hair out. <laughs> Once you guys see, you'll understand why I wrote that in my notes. So since I kind of have bangs, I have shorter pieces in the front. What I'm going to do is take a hair tie and take the front part and just put it off like that. Just so it's out of my way when I want to put the sides up. When I do this hairstyle, I don't brush the sides up because I... There's just no need for me to. To be honest, I don't really care if my hair is slicked down or not. I really don't. Take another hair tie. I am just gonna grab the sides of my hair right where like the point of my ear is. So all that hair is gonna be going up. And you can also do this without the bangs and everything. Sometimes I do, but I have a really big forehead, so. So I'm just gonna do the same on this side. I wanna make sure it's as even as possible, so grab more on this side too. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is literally just take it and then put the hair tie around it once. I do not do it more than once. You can if you want to. If you wrap it more than once, it gets tighter and then your little puff at the top looks a little bit smaller. And then you're just gonna take the hair tie that was wrapped around the first one and take that off. And then now you have bangs with it. Ooh, uh, look at that. This is cute. I might wear my hair like this today. Don't be afraid to use your fingers, guys. Use what you have. I'm gonna give you guys a little side view. 
I really like this style. Sometimes I'll take little curls from the side and put a little bit of gel just so they're really defined and that looks really cute as well. So this is the second style. Like I said, size up, rest of the hair out. <laughs> I don't really know what to call this. I guess you could call it a half up, half down style, but I'm also gonna show you guys what else you can do with this style. Cause my third style that I'm gonna show you guys is literally having this part up and the rest of it out. And the same thing with this, I'm just wrapping it around this little puff in the front once and what i like to do is i like to hold my hair and then stretch the hair tie around so you can get as much volume with it as possible but of course you can pick your hair out however you want to i'm not going to because i want to show you guys other hairstyles i don't want my hair to just be one big cotton ball at the end of this if you want to move the hair tie up so you can see your edges a little bit more if you want to do your edges and I'm just fluffing it accordingly so this is basically the same hairstyle as the second one just with no bangs super easy really fast especially if you're just sick of having your hair out all the time and you just want your hair out of your face when I'm doing my hair if I have a lot of product in my hair the hair that falls in the front will actually make my forehead break out because of the product just touching my skin and being on my skin so this is a good hairstyle for that just to get your hair out of your face and for it to not irritate your skin the fourth hairstyle I'm going to show you guys is the frohawk now, I used to do this all the time Damn. When I first went natural, I just loved it. It was so easy. I could just get up in the morning right before school and do it really, really fast. I wanted to do this frohawk a little bit differently because I was always doing it with just pinning the sides up like that. But I know you guys have probably seen that a thousand times. I want to show you something different on me because I've never done this with my hair. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the front again because I want some bangs with this frohawk. If the sound sounds different to you guys, it's because I forgot to plug in my microphone. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is with this frohawk, I'm actually going to do three sections. So I'm going to part my sections off and you'll see what I'm talking about. They're not going to be perfect parts, but you guys can make your parts perfect. I encourage you to do so. So now that I have my sections, I am going to spray the sides just so they're a little bit more smooth. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when I have them all together. I'm not brushing it or anything. For this, I'm going to wrap the hair tie around it twice. Not once. Cause I want my size to be smooth and then the top part so I did separate this whole section from this section because it was really uneven and I want this to look decent for you guys and I'm wrapping the hair tie twice so it's like a little ponytail so it's basically all it is essentially is just three ponytails you could leave your bangs like this, I guess, if you really wanted to, but I'm not. It doesn't look that bad, but I'm gonna show you guys a side view. I really hope this doesn't look crazy from the side. This little piece looks crazy. For pieces that do that, that just like to fly and just hang and do whatever they wanna do, I just tuck them into the little puff. Okay, so I got my bangs out. I'm gonna give you guys a side view. Wait, does this look crazy? I can't see what the sides look like. I know the parts are probably not going to be straight, guys. Don't come for me. But, like I said, I have other hairstyles to show you guys. And I don't want to have one big cotton ball. This is the fourth hairstyle that you guys can do or try. This hairstyle is actually really cute. I like it. And you can also fluff your ponytails so they blend in a little bit more. 
do whatever you want to do for this hairstyle if i were to do this in the future i would definitely take the little curls on the side and twirl them because that would just look so cute with this hairstyle i think on to hairstyle number five which is a puff with bangs now y'all i have not done a puff in my hair I want to say almost two months now ever since i stopped using gel because that was mostly the time i would use gel sometimes i would do my wash and goes with gel actually most of the time i would do my wash and goes with gel and i just didn't like how weighed down my hair looked i wanted my hair to be fluffy and big but still defined and gel was just not doing that for me the struggle i'm actually co-washing my hair tomorrow i don't really mind that much if i use gel in my hair to show you guys the rest of the hairstyles because it's coming out of my hair tomorrow anyways and i actually really loved wearing the puff with the bangs out i just thought it looked so cute it was different <laughs> to slay my edges or anything which i really liked because for me i have to use so much gel i feel like just for my edges to really lay down i've never used the edge control surprisingly so if you guys have any suggestions for a really good edge control let me know because i wouldn't mind trying it out i really wouldn't let me know in the comments below i'm about to go get my eco styler right now just to show you guys how i would do my puff so i'll be right back okay so i'm gonna be using the eco styler argan oil gel i'm going to spray the sides the rest of the hairstyles i am gonna show you guys do have to involve with putting your hair up so now i i'm just gonna hold my hair up like so and then i'm going to take my eco styler and just put it along my edges so with this hairstyle i'm gonna show you guys what i was talking about before where i like to take out a little curl from the side So now I'm going to get my brush and just brush it all upwards. Okay, you want to find where your bangs are separated if you're going to have your bangs out while you do this and where your puff is separated because you don't want to grab your bangs. I am just going to wrap this hair tie around it twice. I normally would do this with a stretched headband, but I don't really know where it is if I'm being honest. Like I said, you could keep your bangs like this if you want. You can even get a bandana and tie it around so the tie would be up here and you have your bangs out. That'd be really cute. And then you have your bangs out. I'm not too worried about the little side curls being that defined, but. And here you have your puff with bangs. You could also do less bangs too, but I kind of like having it. Cause like I said, I got a big ass forehead. So yeah, I like having the bangs out. I don't really mind if it's a lot. So that's that. And this hairstyle is very cute with hoops very cute whenever i wear this hairstyle i always have hoops and a ton of lip gloss on so that's what this hairstyle looks like you can fluff out your puff if you really want to so hairstyle number six is the og puff now i'm going to take this down this little puff down I don't know how I'm going to do this if I don't know where my stretched out headband is. I'm going to try to find my headband because this is going to be really hard to do with just a hair tie because I got a lot of hair to be working with. Found it. What I do with my headband, 
it's very very stretchy you don't want to get a headband that is not stretchy i know these come in like six packs at target or walmart i think i got these from target i think it was a six pack so i'm just gonna put the headband around i'm sure you guys know already how to do a puff but if anyone doesn't you will i am just going to spray my edges since i already put gel on the back and the sides of my hair i'm not gonna put gel on them again because that's unnecessary if you were to just spray the parts where you put the gel on it's gonna reactivate the gel so there's really no need to continuously put gel on your edges i'm gonna take the headband put it on my edges like so as you can see it's starting right at my hairline i am going to take it stretch it twist it tighten it and i'm going to help it up a little bit until it can start to move on its own sometimes i just like to pull it from side to side Ooh, i almost fell off the chair and depending on how high i want my puff this to me is fine right here because I like when my puff looks big. And then I'm going to wrap it around one more time. Now when I wrap it around that third or second time, it usually moves up even more on its own. So that's why I kind of just stop it when it's like right here. I'm going to do my edges for y'all. And I also, when I do puffs now, when I was doing puffs a lot, I always like to take the sides out. And have them really defined so I'm gonna take a little little piece of gel and like to slick it down with my fingers I'm just gonna glide the gel down it the shrinkage even for my edges is real usually I would be more OCD about this but I'm not because I'm not keeping my hair like this I'm just gonna go like this too to really shape it into a circle or something like that. And then I'm gonna take my edge brush. I just like to kind of comb the parts that I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna put the gel on my edges like so. So these edges look a lot better than this side so you know what i gotta do now is fix this side because what the hell all right that's as good as it's gonna get guys and what i like to do with the front because i just don't like this big old space in the middle of my head i like to bring them to the right side Just like that. So I don't have that big old space in the middle of my head because that just looks so crazy to me. So that's what my edges are looking like. Really red. Really annoyed with me, but whatever. So this is the sixth hairstyle, which I know most of you guys probably already know how to do. But I figured, why not? Because this used to be one of my favorite hairstyles. The OG puff. What do you mean? That's what it's looking like. So now I am going to do the very last hairstyle, which is Afro puffs. But I wanted to show you guys how I get my puffs to be big and not tiny little space buns is what people like to call them, but they're Afro puffs. All right, I am going to split my hair in the middle. I like to do it with my fingers first because if I were to do it with the tail of the comb it would take so long and I would just be ripping my hair and I don't want to do that like this right here that's an issue the comb would just rip right through it but I can easily get through it with my fingers I am gonna make the part more defined with the comb after I do this 
but if I were to just go at it with a comb right now, it would not work out. I've tried. <laughs> I wouldn't be saying that for no reason. Trust me, I've tried. See, like even this, I don't like that. So what I like to do is, once I get these pieces separated, I take the comb out and then I just separate it with my fingers. You can find the tangles better than the comb. That part is clean, boy. What? When I think that the part is done, it's never done, but when I think I have a decent part, I like to tie the two pieces off and then usually I'll use my phone to take a video on Snapchat or something just to see how well I did the part. Since I'm recording this on my phone, I'm about to ask Ray if the part is straight or not. All right, so Ray says it's straight. He showed me a picture and everything. I will show you guys what the bag looks like, but I want to show you guys how I make my puffs look really big. Because that's what I like. I like big hair. I like big puffs. I'm going to grab all of my hair. You want to take the hair tie and bring it all the way down here. What this does is it allows more of your hair to be in the puff if that makes sense <laughs> you're not condensing your hair because you're not wrapping the hair tie around more than once if i were to wrap my hair tie around more than once my puff would be this size and especially after i pick it out it just gets even bigger and i'm gonna show you guys when i pick it out too these bad boys out and my edges are already laid and slayed i am gonna be wearing my hair like this for us today because it's cute why not as you can see the difference mm -hmm. and every time i wear my hair like this i get so many compliments I don't know who came up with the whole space bun thing, but what the hell? And then when I'm all done, I'll just take my fingers and just pull to shape them better. Pretty much it. Once I think of more ideas for different hairstyles, I will definitely make a part two, or if you guys have any ideas for me to try, let me know in the comments below. That was the last hairstyle that I was gonna show you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys tried a different hairstyle. Like I said before, let me know if you have any other ideas that you'd like me to try in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.